Good afternoon, it's David Wigner here from all the way south of the whole world in little old Christchurch, New Zealand, the South Island of New Zealand, not the North Island, which I've just come from the North Island and it's been a really good time, really fun time. I usually eat too much and I usually um, talk too much and all those sorts of things and um, anyway I had a good time at the Lightning Chess Championships for New Zealand um, I did okay I got over the 50% margin which is good for me um, because last year which is of course last year so today's the the 13th of January and it's a Friday so it's the 13th of a Friday so it's Friday the 13th of January 2017 I've had a good time in Wellington I met some of my friends and some of my people that probably don't think I'm a friend um, there are people like that of course and I met some good opponents I met some opponents that beat me that I shouldn't have lost to because one game as happens uh, as a friend of mine from the Canterbury Chess Club would say in five minute chess we're talking anything can happen in five minute chess well that's absolutely correct now I was heard saying before the tournament started I think not that I think, I didn't say that because um, I wasn't thinking at the time of saying this. I said at the start of the tournament, I don't really lose my king um, to check by um, forgetting that my king's in check or not noticing my king's in check. I basically never ever do that. And guess what? Um, I think it was round five or round four of nine rounds of three minute and two seconds increments. I think I, um, I think it was then I lost my game, even though, <laughs> see, anything can happen in 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 um, lightning chess, but even more things can happen. I went checkmate as black as I had played such a beautiful game. I was a queen and a bishop and some pawns versus some pawns and a knight, a white knight. And the white knight shone a lot of light, the white knight. And what had happened is I left my king on pre. Um, I just checkmated my opponent and then my opponent sort of pointed away at my king and I went, what for? He'd just gone knight c6, but I was, I was two seconds away from checkmate. But it was no good, because I first had my queen on f3, and his knight went knight c6 check, and my king was on, my black king was on d4, and my bishop was on d3, and his king was on e1. I should, after knight c6, I should have just go um, knight king here, but I, I went, Queen here, e2, checkmate. I can show you what I'm talking about. I went queen e2, checkmate. And he said, ah, excuse me. Um, and I went, what? And he said, it's check on c6 with my knight. And he only had a knight left. So I've been telling you guys and, and ladies and and other people and that to um, don't forget your king. Yeah, you know, one of the fundamental things, don't forget your king. Don't forget your king. And guess what I did? I forgot my king. And so that was that game. I lost that game. I won five games. I played against my host from my friend in Wellington. Very, 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 very good friend. And I absolutely loved the time with him. It was just so enjoyable. And he put up for me. It was good. And his family did too. Anyway, I had such a great time with him. And also an international master of chess from New Zealand, so there's not many of them, said about Heather's play. He spoke, because I was speaking about Heather Wiegener, 
and he said she's quite she's quite a good player and I've told Heather that since and she's wrapped to hear that that's what he says about her so I just um, I had a good tournament um, it's to be expected because like I said the other day I covered myself see I've already made my excuses sadly um, I had a really really good game with um, the uh, a, a very strong chess player who's an international master of chess I'm not going to drop names or whatever uh, but I had a really good tussle with this um, this player where I played my three on move three after knight c3 e4 e6 d4 d5 knight c3 f5 um, my opponent international master opponent um, sort of respected me after the game I think he did or or she or they might have thought what a what a patsa what a plonker um, playing such a stupid move against me but this person came across as if they were impressed with um, that move f5 and I ended up going f4 as well as black and g5 and um, I ended up going h5 to thinking of going h4 now there was a little bit of spectators going on there were a few spectators because it um, I I wouldn't say I I was in a good position but I was making it difficult for my opponent to win but I think the writing was on the wall but because he was an exchange up for my um, I had a knight for his rock now the other thing is, is that so I played my friend who was my host in Wellington the last round of round nine and I would have wanted to play another um, 25 30 five or so thousand more rounds but you can't do that you just, we've got to they've got to draw the line somewhere the other another position that happened for me which annoyed me which is my fault as well is my opponent should do or adjusted my piece his piece on my time and so what I did was I paused the clock because that's against the rules. I paused my clock, went to the adjudicate um, to the the director of play, and told the director of play that this has happened. So the director of play returned to the board, which were, I returned went to my board where I was playing, white. And um, he he told my opponent and that it wasn't okay even though it was one of the rules and he said at the this time he said i'm just going to issue you with a warning now that the game before that was when i lost my king to check not to checkmate but to check and i know that's the rules but this rule it didn't matter um he was able to just carry on as per usual so it wasn't like there, it was just sort of like um, a police officer pulling you up and saying you're not to do this, uh, don't do it again sort of thing. Even though it was part and parcel of the rules that were brought up um, that you're not to adjust pieces on your opponent's turn and especially when it's so fast. Anyway, so what happened was, is he just got a warning, my opponent or she, but then I noticed that my clock was still ticking and when I'd left it, see up here is three minute and three minute um, it's quite funny that, that it should actually show three minute and three minute this was only about move seven or so, move eight or so and I'm not going to flog this dead horse I'm just saying that this was about move seven or so but I lost about 
a minute and a half because um, so the director of play put me back a half a minute which meant I was actually now in time trouble according to my opponent's time and um, whether you like it or not it kind of put me off the game maybe it even puts me off chess if it's getting down to um, losing like that or um, if you're going to break the rules it should be across the board not just um, certain rules you break like leaving your king and check so I'm, I'm quite happy because I, I also um, take my opponent's king and chess and lightning chess which has been Canterbury rules for a long time, um, but I but it's now actually um, the rules. I think it is. Um, so I'm quite happy to go along with those rules. But if those are the rules for driving on the chessboard, then the other rules are equally important too. In fact, probably just about as equal. Now I'll tell you what happened for my friend. So I'm just saying, just about more than equal is if your opponent sort of um, adjusts pieces on your turn. Now that should be a real no-no and it shouldn't just be a sort of like a light telling off and a warning not to do it again when you've already been told at the start of the game not to do it. And it's not like the person was a new player but um, was lower rated than me. That's not what I'm going on about but I could be. It's just that um, you're either going to have a penalty of some sort or another which would mean if I put this past the organiser of Canterbury Chess or Christchurch Chess if I put this whole thing in front of him he would probably say I would have actually given you um, back your three minutes or so or I would have taken time off his clock because my clock was still ticking. I thought I was pushing because my friend has the pause button on the very right. Whereas the pause button is in the centre of the clock that I was using. So I inadvertently had stopped my clock. So um, I was a little bit um, put off that it's come down to this. But I'm not saying that the rules aren't okay or whatever. I was just a little bit put off by it, but I'll tell you what happened for my friend who I was staying with. He lost the game of chess because he promoted a pawn or he went, made his pawn move to the 8th rank and pushed his clock or pushed the clock and he duly lost because he made an illegal move. He didn't promote the pawn to a a, a knight or bishop or rook or queen he left it as a pawn and pushed the clock thereby more or less saying that it's a queen check obviously but um or queen and his opponent duly won well that's the way chess is going so I said anything can happen according to my chess friend from Canterbury Anything can happen in a five minute game as he was beating me back then. So anything can happen. So I think it's a wee bit sad but that's just the way it is. But um, maybe I'm just too old to play real fast chess. But I love fast chess. Uh, even though in Rapids I'm not, I'm not doing much better than just about, you know, over. I'm getting over the 50% or 50% margin. So um, that's okay, but um, five out of nine is quite good too. And um, I was actually, um, I was actually half a point behind one of our IMs and a point behind another one. So the the the, the play was quite good, but I was quite amazed by the young players again, yet again, and how good they really are and how they play resolutely in chess rather than um, in fear of their opponent or whatever so they're quite good but I'm but my my 
favourite sort of games were with my actual friend the last round you can find out his name on the internet but I'm not going to say it here but it'll be published on the internet and also my other game I played against the international master that um, I had a really good game a good tussle and uh, according to my friend it looked like we were long lost friends uh, uh, to him to him at least um, so anyway that was a really good tournament and I just got back this morning now this is the position from the other day so I'm going to look um, into my um, I'm going to look for another book here And what I'm struck by is how many people actually really are drawn to the game of chess. Uh, a person I was sitting next door to, poor boy, poor man, poor sir, a Māori guy, he, he had to put up for me talking all the way back from Wellington, which wasn't too long, but... It wasn't as long as you guys have to put up with, if you do actually put up with it. Actually, I've just found a game that I played with my friends. So I'm going to do. That. I'm going to show you that game, and that's going to be the game for the day. And then I'm going to do some segments for yesterday and the day before, which I've missed. missed. Or I might just um, do them later on because um, of other things going on. Okay. So we'll go set up a new position and we'll turn off this engine. Reset, white to move, OK. And then we're going to go turn off the engine. Otherwise it's going to keep talking throughout like me. And I don't like competition. Um, I'm just joking. Right, so this is played, a lightning game this was, on the 5th of April 1996. Now this guy here was instrumental. Um, he's a very top player. He's was played on the 5th of April 1996, uh, probably at my home, a lightning game, so it's five minute. And he is now in England. And he is, um, I actually forgot about this line, B4. Uh, he is in England now. And he is the one who said to me a long time ago, probably the same time, 96 or 98 or something, he said to me about in the French on move 3 after 92, knight F, uh, F5. So he suggested this idea that they don't know what to do. Whereas, um, and the IM was sort of, he said it's weak, this move F5. He considers it weak, but he considers it quite, quite interesting or something like that at the same time, especially for lightning chess. And the thing is, as I've played a match games as well. Now I'm thinking I could have gone to the New Zealand Interzonal in Auckland, which starts tomorrow on the on the 14th of January. I could have gone to that, but I still like to just get it all over and done with in one day, and that sort of thing, um, and then find out where I come. So I did all right. I got about um, I got in this 12th equal slot which isn't too bad still means I'm pretty reasonable at lightning but okay anyway I'm showing you this game so he came up with the the um, knight d2 I knight d2 idea and that well, not the knight d2 idea because that's the tarish for f5 that they don't know what to do about it because they they go shall I take shall I push um, shall I defend whatever blah 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 so that's what he told me about but then I went the one step further 
And I said, well, what about just against knight c3 and every other um, white move that they play it, even um, uh, bishop d3 and knight c3 or sometimes they even play knight f3 and all sorts of strange things. d3, it's good against that too. My One of my opponents um, against um, move move two they played I think it's called the time and of in the French and I did win that game but I played one e6 as black and they played queen e2 and I just went bishop e7 or did the IMs play that and f5 afterwards or and d5 and f5 afterwards just times a bit okay well here's this game otherwise it's going to be another 90 minute job So I'm white and he's black. So I totally forgot about the wing gambit in the in the French and the Sicilian. Uh, in the yeah, Sicilian. I completely forgot I should have played that. I played a closed um, Sicilian as white and I quite like it. But my opponent was ready for it, not ready for me to play it against him. But my opponent from Wellington was um, about 2070 or something like that, 2040 or 60. And he was surprised that my rating was so low. And um, I was surprised his rating was so high. I'm just joking. Uh, but he was surprised that my rating was so low. And and I said, well, you know, I lost it last year. I was at 2286. And then it went down as soon as I started playing in the relevant tournaments which were rapid and I only got 50% scores in them. So bishop d3, d5 so this is quite a good line for white to play if you like something out of the ordinary to throw black off their game in the French. It's, it's, it's like um, it's like similar openings for black I won't go into detail um, for them to um, open up the B file and the A file for black. So this is kind of good for white, but not exactly great. But this probably suits my style better than a closed Sicilian. Because it's opening it up. But my opponent... Um, from Wellington that round, round two I think, he played really really well and he did he did beat me so as far as I, you know, like he beat me properly so as far as I'm concerned I got beaten in that round and I got beaten by the IM. The other two games um, was a bit of luck for my opponents and my opponents realised that um, not so much the other one but the one that had a knight for um, my queen and bishop realised they were lucky, but that's okay. But that was okay, and I wasn't just I didn't kick him too much under the table, you know. I didn't sort of like um, beat him up or anything. I just sort of um, slid some uh, some something disguised in my wrapper to him, um, but not really. I I was. Um, a good loser which is important in chess to be a good loser not a poor loser or one that wants to punch the opponent in the face so anyway here we got 92 bishop d7 okay castles oh here we go we can't castle oh no i have to re 